All right, so let's go ahead and make a commit here. All right, so what I'd like to do now is to go ahead and create a reply controller that's going to handle creating replies for our posts. So right click on our controllers and we'll add a new controller, reply controller. And then let's go ahead and create our view models right away for this. So we'll have this post reply model. And uh, that's right, so it looks like we already created this post reply model. And we created it when we were creating our post listing model, because both of these objects are quite similar to each other in form as well as function. And so, you know, perhaps we should eventually have some type of abstract base class post that both a standard post and a reply inherit from if they're going to be sufficiently different. But that just depends on how you'd like to structure your application. I think it would probably be a good idea since both of these object types are so similar. So if we go take a look at our post listing model, you can see this post relates directly back to a forum and has this replies count property on it, whereas the reply relates back to a post ID. We could construct it such that we had a post listing model property on it as well. But in any case, these two models are quite similar to each other, so that's something that you might consider doing. In any case, we're gonna use just a single concrete class here, post reply model, and then in our reply controller, we are not actually gonna have a reply index, but we'll use this to create a create method here, which is gonna take an ID, which will actually relate back to a particular post ID. So you can already see that we're probably going to use our post service here. So let's go ahead and create a constructor for this controller. And we'll create a private read-only field for our post service. And just go ahead and bring this in. And we'll pass it into our constructor as usual. And likewise set it here. And then what I'd like to do is to go ahead and use that to grab the post from the ID that we passed this create method. So we'll use our post service and just call get by ID. Likewise, we could also inject our user manager here in order to more easily get the user from our context. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And we need to make sure to bring in identity for that as well. So I'll go ahead and store that in a user object here. And we'll use the user manager to await the user's name. So we use this find by name async. And we can pass it the user identity dot name. And await methods can only be used within an asynchronous function here, so we'll make this action result a task. Okay, so we have this way to get our application user object from the context, and we have a way to get the post that we're actually going to pass into this create reply method. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and construct our view model. So it's a new post reply model. And we'll control parade to bring that in. And if we hit F12 on post reply model to check out the properties. And so what we can do here is go ahead and set our properties on this post reply model. So this page is, just to give you an idea, it's going to be the create page for our reply. And so what I'd like to do is to display the post that we're replying to kind of like above the form. So let's actually head into our post reply model. And so maybe we'll add a few things here to it. So like we've got the ID, the author ID, the author rating and the author's image. And then we've got the created on date and the reply content, whether or not the author is an admin. And then of course we have the post ID that corresponds to the post for this reply. And so maybe we'll go ahead and just tuck in the post title here 
along with the post content. And what this is going to allow us to do is to actually see that original post on this uh, on the create page where we're building our post reply. Likewise, maybe we'll go ahead and put the forum name into this view model and the form image URL along with the form ID. And perhaps some of these view models could get refactored at some point where we're not setting necessarily so many properties on each of our classes here, but we might have them grouped into objects like a sort of bare bones forum um, display view model that we could pass around to say like the post and the post reply and that sort of thing. For now, we're gonna keep everything just kind of flat and we can worry about optimizing a little bit later. So now in our controller method here, let's go ahead and set the post content is equal to the post for this reply dot content. And we'll just go ahead and fill out the remainder for the post. We've got the post title and the post ID, um, which is actually also just the same as the ID that we passed this create method. In any case, for the reply itself, we'll have the author name. And from that, we can grab the user.identity.name. The author image URL is the user object that we pull back using our user manager. And from this, we have our application user model that we can actually just grab the uh, image URL from. And then the author ID is that user's ID. I'm going to go ahead and move this here. And then the rating, and then whether or not the author is an admin. And for this, we can look at the context. And so we could say user dot is enroll admin. And then our created can just be datetime dot now. And then we're going to return this model to our view. But what I'd also like to do is, if you recall, we just set some of the forum properties here on the view model. So let's go ahead and implement those as well in our controller. And so in order for that to work, we're actually going to want to grab the forum off of our post object. So like the forum name is going to be the post uh, forum dot title and the forum ID is the post uh, forum dot ID. And then the forum image URL is post dot forum dot image URL. Okay, so we can go ahead and drop this here. And then uh, back in our post reply model, I'm just going to make the forum ID here an int. Okay, so we can close this. And yep, now we have our post reply model and we pass this to our view. And then on our post reply view, we are going to use this model to display some of this data to our user. And then we're also going to display a, an input form that the user can then use to actually apply a value to this reply content. And then we'll have it post back up to a post method in our reply controller, and then save that reply to our post replies database table. So let's go ahead and create our reply view. So I'm gonna right click on views and add a new folder called reply. And we'll right click in here and we'll add a new item MVC view page, and we're going to call this create. All right, so now we can go ahead and declare the model, and it is, and it is a lambda forums dot models dot reply dot post reply model type, and then as we have before, we're going to go ahead and have our container body content here, and then our section header, row, and then within here, our section heading. And what I'm gonna do here is just have like reply and then a pipe, and then we'll say model.postTitle so that the user can see what post they're replying to. And then I'll have a div of class forum logo, and we'll do an inline style to set the background image to the forum logo.
And then I'm gonna have a span, which is gonna hold a, a heading button here. And then I'm gonna have a span with ID heading button, which is gonna hold like a back to post button. So we'll go ahead and make this a link and then style it like a button. So we'll have a ASP controller is equal to post. ASP action is equal to index. And then our ASP route ID is equal to the model.post ID. And then we can make this a class button and button back. And we can just say back to post. And we'll be sure to close our anchor tag here. All right, and here I'm actually gonna just put this on a couple different lines so that it's a little bit easier to read. All right, now I'm gonna collapse this row. And then we'll have a second row here. Post reply. And then very simply, I'm just gonna have a, an H3 tag here with model.post title. And then a paragraph tag here. Sorry, a paragraph tag with model.post content. And so this will actually show the content and the title of the original post. And so let's go ahead and collapse this row. And then we'll have another row, and this will actually be our create reply section. So go ahead and give it an ID of create reply. 